Hey friends, I'm Pastor Joe. Today is Wednesday and I have your word for the day. Do you believe that God can use you to work a miracle in somebody's life? I do. Now I'm not sure what miracle that may be, but I know God wants to use you. Even when Jesus was on this earth, he sent his disciples out into the world to work miracles. Now understand, this was before he died on the cross, before he rose from the dead, before he ascended into heaven. While Jesus was working miracles, he sent out men and women, just like you and me, to bring life change to their world. You can read about this story in Mark chapter 6, verses 6 through 13. It shows that Jesus called his 12 disciples together and then he sent them out two by two and he gave them authority to cast out evil spirits. He told them to take nothing for their journey except a walking stick, no food, no traveler's bag, no money. He let them wear sandals, but they weren't supposed to take a change of clothes. And he told them wherever you go, wherever you stay, Stay in the same house until you leave town. And if any place refuses to welcome you or listen to you, shake its dust from your feet and leave that town. It will show them that you've abandoned those people to their own fate. And so the disciples went out. They told everyone to repent and of their sins, to turn to God. And they cast out many demons and healed many sick people, anointing them with oil. You know, I sometimes forget that God wants to use me. I mean, here Jesus is in heaven. Jesus can do whatever he wants. God is the creator of the galaxies and the cosmos, and he can do whatever he wants. But I forget, if God can do whatever he wants, I forget that God wants to use me. Do you need to be reminded that God wants to be your hands and feet in this world? That God literally wants you to be the hands and feet of Jesus as well? If so, let this passage of scripture serve as an encouragement to you. Jesus used men and women throughout the scripture who did not have the power of the Holy Spirit indwelling them. He used men who were not yet born again. He used men who had doubts, men who had fears, men who were insecure, and men who did not have the Holy Spirit living inside of them, and yet they brought radical life change to the world around them. See, you and I, we have the Holy Spirit living in us. We can bring life change today. You can make a difference to somebody today. You can work a miracle in someone's life today. You can love somebody. You can encourage somebody. You can pray with somebody. You can pray for somebody today. So what are you waiting for? Go make a difference right now. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, share it, apply it, and leave a comment. God bless.